Welcome back to another video. So I have received the MOSFETs to replace in my amplifier and it's under the t-shirt there as per usual and um, I ordered some on eBay with the same part number these are like new old stock and uh, I'm worried that they are fakes so I'm going to test them with some key parameters looking at the data sheet uh, as a backup I've also ordered <clears throat> IRFP 250 MPB, yeah. So they are also kind of similar respect. <clears throat> so, but they don't look too much the same. So, yeah, so I, I need to test to see if they actually check out for whatever. Look at other videos I will show in the description that these can have a lot more resistance when they are turned on and then they will get hot and you will get thermal runaway I think I think anyway so the key parameters for this is RDS on yeah so there you go we have a VGS which is the threshold and that should be between 2 and 4 volts and then your RDS on which is like how much voltage will you get over the drain source when you run a certain current through it so i'm just going to do one amp not 15 and i'm also going to do like 8 volts or something like that but we should see something in this range here 85 milli ohms or if it's one amperes you should see 85 milli volts so i have the setup here i found this on this channel i mentioned i will put it in the description so uh, never mind this is actually 16 <laughs> 16 ohm so the way this works is that uh, we will put like 16 volts here then uh, if you do six and this one is fully turned on then you will have 16 divided by 16 like u divided by r equals i which is like one ampere and then approximately but uh, we will also set the power supply to limit that one amps and for the gate i'm going to do half so that will be at 16 volts you will have 8 volt in here so that's uh not too far from the uh, the conditions so yes yeah, so that's it so um, so first i can just ramp up the voltage into until this uh, led turns on then we know the the gate source voltage so let's try so it's transistor you have the gate the drain and the source and i have uh, it's important to measure it very close to the transistor Especially when you're using a uh, a breadboard like this, because you have a lot of losses. But if you measure it close enough, it will be good. So, so I've uh, taken the points there over here, so I can just put my probes into this thing here. So, this is the drain, but now we're interested in the source. So this is the source that goes over here. So let's move it over there. So now this meter should see. The source voltage <clears throat> yeah so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna ramp this voltage up until we see the LED starts to to show something so let's see there we go so about there what do we see 3.6 volts just gonna turn it off again so 3.6 volts is in between here so that's good <laughs> now let's uh, see what happens to the RDS on so I just explained how that works what you do is that you put a current through here and then you measure the voltage over it uh, you should see um, see what it is so RDS is like you search the ohm lo ohms law, law again so the U divided by I, but which U is it? It's the voltage over drain source. And then it's the current through the drain. 
Yeah, so that will be one amp. And then whatever we find here will be the millivolts, which is the millions. <laughs> anyway, so let's see. So I'm just going to ramp this one up to, oops, sorry for the flashing. Um, 16 volts as we spoke and we're going to limit the current here so when i turn it on you see it's in current limiting mode and let's go to millivolts and then it's over limit so i'm done something wrong yeah i'm looking at the gate so i'm going to look at the drain this is the drain in the middle there because we are looking for VDS okay let's do it again I have to be a bit quick because these can get warm they are cold now this is uh, actually for loading the speaker <laughs> and this is an 8 ohm speaker load or like a dummy load so I have uh, connected them together like this it's a very boys room <laughs> like I did when I was a teenager so I did it again anyway just twisted wires everywhere so yeah so let's turn it on again let's see there we go 82 millivolts turn it off again <clears throat> so 82 millivolts that's 82 approximately 82 milli ohms and this is good because we are looking for 85 so I will do the same for the other one. I think I actually have done that already, but uh, you know, when you do a video like this, things do doesn't go always go as planned. I do it beforehand and mostly because uh, you know it's a bit difficult to make videos with a camera in the way so, or do the test sign and everything. Let's see what happens now. Um. For some reason, this one is all over the place, but let's turn it on. This is one millivolts. Something is off. Yeah, this one has loosened now. Okay. <laughs> Not very good, but uh, turning it on again. Okay, one amps. That's good. 83 millivolts. Very good. I'm very pleased with that. So both of them seems to be, actually, seems to be quite matched as well. The other one was 82, this one is 83. So yeah, so I'm really happy. Now I will actually feel confident using these in the, in the amplifier. <laughs> okay, so that was interesting. So let's try the other ones that I bought from also. This is like an unboxing video now. <laughs> so it comes like this. It's like a little pin that you can pull out, I suppose. Oh, there they go. Let's put them in here. In here. Carefully remove them. Let's try this one. Look, they look a bit bigger as well, by the way. They look the deal. <laughs> So let's see. It's about there. The meter says 3.7 volts. This is good. This is actually not bad. Three foot. Wow, it's pretty close as well. <laughs> now the interesting part is the RDS on. So let's see that. Let's go to drain so the meter will see the drain let's do millivolts let's ramp this one up to 16 and then we have this and we see 65 okay so this one is a lot better actually oh did you see it oh, didn't get warm at all but yeah 65 milli ohms quite pleased with that so 65 all right so let's do the other one as well <laughs> since this is what this video is going to be about anyway so 
65.4 was pretty close. Was 65. Let's try the threshold. What we see is 3.7 volts. So yeah. So these are pretty close in the VGS, which is good. And then we have RDS is a bit different. But yeah, it's not too bad. So happy with that. I will think I'll just go with these then. Since they are the same as the one that was in the amplifier. Hope you like that. So we'll of course show you more video about the amplifier which resting under here. Yeah. Bye bye.